sports. Well, in other news, a massive IRS scam targeting nearly uh, more than uh, 400,000 people across the country has made its way to eastern Iowa. Fake IRS agents call demanding immediate payments with a wire transfer or a debit card. KWWL's Justin Andrews live for us tonight in Marion, where, Justin, you spoke with a man who almost fell victim to that scam. Yeah, Bob, and luckily he became suspicious, called right here at Marion PD because he knew something just wasn't right. Tim Shineman says the fake IRS phone call came in yesterday. He says the scammers left a voicemail claiming he and his wife had tax debt with the IRS, and if he didn't make an immediate payment, they place a lien on his bank account within 24 hours. He tells me the fake IRS voicemail quality sounded very poor. When, I, when we first got it, I thought, oh, no, you know, did, 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 did I miss something? Um, but, you know, once I, once I listened to the message, it was actually poor quality. Mm. The recording was very poor quality. Uh, so I, I got suspicious. That's when he says he called the number back and never actually talked to anyone. He called Marion police and then he called us. Now, Bob, I was able to call that scam number back. I'm working on that part of the story and I'll have it for you coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. But for now, we've got you covered live at Marion Police Headquarters. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. All right, thanks, Justin.